and welcome back to Pip Explorers. This week I'm showing you how to make rope pads. So for any gear beginners out there, this is a great first gear to make by yourself thing to try. All you need is your fabric, a sewing machine, and then if you want them, grommets and a grommet puncher but technically you don't have to have those so today we're going to be talking about how to make a rope pad specifically these rope pads are going to be great for padding trees or lips when you are caving or repelling so whenever we are putting our rope on something we want to protect both the thing that we're putting our rope on and our rope by using something called a rope pad now typically you will be putting your rope on a tree and then putting it into a pit. So you're gonna want something to protect the tree, protect the rope from the tree, and protect any of that friction. So you can use a variety of things, canvas, old jeans, cake packs, whatever you might have. But today we're gonna to be making a rope pad for that purpose. So I am doing the first step of any crafting project. I am at Joanne's Fabrics. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to get everything I need to make the rope pad. So hoping. All right, so I found the fabric that I'm looking for. So I, when I'm making rope pads, I use duck canvas, which is right here. And it's just, it's really thick, but it's relatively cheap. It's not like the world's best material. If you want the best material, you're going to want Corda, Cordua. I don't know how to say it, uh, but I use duck canvas. So that is what we're going to get today. having 20% off your entire purchase so that was great and the bolt that I was buying uh, they ended up it ended up being like real close to the end so I got some free fabric too so <sighs> good good trip okay so now we have the uh, main part of this which is assembling the rope pads now here's the thing these aren't fancy so all that we're gonna be doing is a folded over hem on the two ends and then down the side. And if you have some that's not, like this when I fold it, it stays pretty well, so I don't need to iron it. But if yours isn't, I would highly suggest ironing it. It's just gonna make sewing it a lot easier. Um, I would also suggest, so this is my grommet hole puncher, so that we can add our grommets for our rope to go through, so that we can, you know, tie this in case we're using it to pad an edge or something, um, or just like, you know, secure it a little better. So I suggest doing this before you sew your hems because since you're going to be going through so many layers of fabric, it, it just makes your life a little easier. Also, so when you're folding your hem, and I don't know, maybe the first time I did this I was just super dumb, but you want to do like a little baby and then a bigger fold so that your grommet doesn't have to go through all six layers of this or nine layers on the corners of this. You only want, you want to have the least number of pieces of fabric that you can. So because this fabric is so thick, you actually need a pretty big, like a decent sized hem allowance. I would say about an inch on each side. So just keep that in mind when you're cutting the fabric. Um, I mean, having a narrow rope pad's never too, like a super bad thing, but just keep in mind if you're looking for a specific width of rope pad, you, you need at least an inch, maybe give yourself an inch and a half on each side, just because this fabric is so thick to get your like hem allowance. Here's the fun part. Um, these are a gift and we have to leave in like two hours and I have not finished making them yet. So speed so.
suggest um, doing all of your corners and all of your like folding. And if you have pins, uh, it, it, it's helpful, especially if they're long to pin it together. Um, but I would suggest getting all of it like folded, all your holes cut before you start sewing. It's just gonna make like the sewing process go a lot easier. But I just wanted to show you guys. So this is like my hole. Um, and then you just use your grommet like things to add your grommets in. But it's so much easier to do it, like get your hole cut and have nice clean holes before you sew. Um, especially because like this is not like a super fancy grommet puncher. It is my hand. And again, I, I don't have a lot of hand strength, so got to do what you got to do. So what I end up having to do because I don't have a lot of hand strength is I'll just kind of mark with my grommet puncher. Um where the hole will be and it kind of goes through all the fabric but it doesn't actually make the hole and then I open it up and I punch all four holes individually so that they'll line up but I don't have to like you know hurt my hand much easier if you don't have a sewing machine or access to a sewing machine this is not a project I would suggest trying to hand sew just because the canvas is so thick that you could really like hurt your hand, like just like cramping, trying to hand sew through all of the layers because it's so thick. So if you don't have one, maybe borrow one, maybe see if a relative has one that they can show you how to use. Um, but this is really good. It's basically like sewing a pillowcase, but for caving. <laughs> Honestly, one of the best things about uh, making rope pads for caving, especially if you're just get learning how to do make your own gear stuff, like if this is a great first project because nothing has to match, nothing has to be straight, and it doesn't really matter. It's going to do the job, even if you royally screw up. So I'm currently about to sew my last one I'm making for today, um, and I'm using blue thread on an orange rope pad because I don't have orange thread and I don't care enough because this is a rope pad. It doesn't need to be perfect and if I could give you one piece of advice going into something like this it doesn't have to be perfect it has to work and if it works it's perfect enough okay so when you are ready to do your grommets it's very very important that you get the metal out and above the fabric because how they stay on is this piece of metal comes down and squishes onto the top piece of metal so if this isn't poking out of your fabric, it's just going to like squish and then eventually fall out. So you want to make sure that this metal is sticking out of your fabric before you squeeze it. So once you're done, all you have to do to finish off is if you so choose, add your grommets in using your grommet puncher. There are instructions that come with that. It's pretty self-explanatory and you're done. I like to add some three mil cord to the end just to have something to tie it with and then you can either give this as a gift which is what i did or keep it for yourself and add it to your rig kit i hope you guys found this video helpful if you want to see other beginner diys i'm not really good at like advanced diys but maybe one day uh let me know in the comments below if you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button we are on facebook instagram and twitter all of piv explorers don't forget to check out the website and store at pivexplorers.com and we will see you next week. Bye.